Good evening, love. Good evening, light, illuminators and way showers. And it is in divine grace, honor, and gratitude that I am here with you once again. I'm Wendy, sharing with you my highest joy and excitement. As I express to you my unconditional love through these light languages, these messages of, from our celestial guides, our angelic guides, our ET guides, those that are all part of us, our ancestors, I've been reminded so much recently of, I, of my own aunts and grandmothers lately feeling this immense divine feminine energy. And it was so fitting that I was just now reminded of that because the, <laughs> the purpose, I guess, the reason for this video tonight um, was I was just inspired by the gratitude of the space of just enjoying this beautiful night. The weather is lovely and I'm just delighted to share with you my own celestial experience here this evening. I'm sitting here looking directly at Venus. And so I was feeling just this lady, goddess, Venus energy. And as I was looking also at the stars around me, I've got the Big Dipper. We've got Saturn, Mars, Arcturus, Mercury, Spica. I'm looking, um, there's Orion. So there is so much going on right now, celestially. And there's so many things I'm being re I'm receiving right now from my guides about the celestial bodies themselves, how we interact with them, how they interact with us as stories and celestial beings and bodies and mythology. And so I was sitting here just... I've got the candles burning and I just got some things out of storage and so I was just marveling in, in the space here and felt just so um, inspired to share this experience with you, my celestial experience. And the sounds, the sounds that we hear in the silence of the night is extraordinary. And as the stories that we have heard about our planets and as we so many of us have gazed up into the sky. I know I have since I was a child, knowing that there was more out there, that there was, it was, it was, couldn't possibly be possible that we were the only beings out there. And even our own stories, our own mythology are filled with the gods and goddesses, the stories of our planetary um, guides and how their power affects us, how we talk about every day, <clears throat> how, these, how these beings affect us because all of this is a co-creation. And one of the things I discovered very young is my interest in astrology and astronomy and how is it that 
all of this is connected. How is it that the stars are connected to me? And when I was born and I, and, and when did I, when, when I chose to be born and how I wanted the stars, the planets to represent my story, my theme, my experience in this particular awareness. Um, what did it all mean? How was it all connected? And how was that all connected to star beings and other planets and civilizations? And all of this has led me onto this journey and connecting the dots. And how exciting it has been to explore all of these connections. And so as I, I sit here and it's so exciting for me to just be here in the space and see these beautiful lights beaming back at me and knowing that we each and every one of us are connected to each and every one of them and and we are all connected to each other by virtue of all being all connected to all that is so i believe that Every single thing. We already know that each celestial body, Jupiter, Jupiter, my ruling planet, um, you know, they, they, they emit a sound. Each one has a specific vibration, a sound. We can hear them and feel them. So as I was sitting here, I was guided to um, look up Venus and the very first um, site that I came across is the Venus, uh, here I'll make sure I get the right uh, site for you, the ancient history uh, site. In Roman mythology, and it's got this beautiful depiction of Venus, and she's rising out of this clamshell. And so I'm looking at this beautiful, um, I'm not even, I, you probably will not be able to see this picture. Well, maybe. There you go. So see, there she is. She's rising out of this clamshell. And these beings are around her. And so I'm reading, I'm reading this and now I'm getting itchy already. Um, in Roman mythology, Venus was the goddess of love, sex, beauty, and fertility. She was the Roman counterpart to the Greek Aphrodite. And I loved mythology as a kid. It was something I studied. I researched it. I wrote papers on Greek, Greek and Roman mythology. I wrote poetry based on it. So it's something that's always been very dear to me. However, Roman Venus had many abilities beyond Greek Aphrodite. She was a goddess of victory, fertility, and even prostitution. According to Hesiod's Theogony, Aphrodite was born of the foam from the sea after Saturn, Greek Cronus, castrated his father, Uranus, Oranus, and his blood fell to the sea. This latter explanation appears to be more popular theory due to the countless artworks depicted depicting Venus rising from the sea in a clam. And Venus, um, it goes on to explain a little bit more about Vulcan and Mars. And so it was just a, a very synchronistic. All of that information was so very <laughs> resonated with me so deeply all of a sudden. And so as, as I was thinking about all of that, that's exactly the energy that I was feeling right now. And I, all of a sudden I look around me and I realize I'm sitting on a seafoam green cushion. And just today I took out tonight, even this evening before the sunset, even I took out of storage candles and I was putting, I was arranging things on the table in front of me and Lo and behold, I don't know if you guys, if I'll be able to pick this up, if you can see it or not. Here, it's a clamshell 
candle holder. <laughs> and it's this one right here. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure. We, oh, there it is. Let's see what you guys can see. Here it is. And this is a jar, a huge jar of these enormous clam shells and seashells and a feather. Huge clam shell, huge clam shells that I collected all right down here at the lake. And some of them are really big. Once in a great while, they're still connected, but very rarely do I find them connected. So I have this huge jar, which I'll show you guys again sometime in the daylight. But I was marveling. <clears throat> in the center, I've got my Dove of Peace here. I've got my unicorn over here, um, who has so lovingly uh, <laughs> told me his name is his, her, its name is Eclipse. And so how fitting is all of that, that... We are in the midst of these three eclipses. The next one's coming up on 8-11. Today's 8-2, which equals 3. So here we are in the trinary consciousness. This really embracing the idea of fertility, of body, mind, and spirit, of fulfilling the, that, that passion within us that creativity, that drive, that passionate uh, romance, and allowing that energy to just fill our creative selves with a passion that we've never experienced before. And Again, this is part of my process. This is something that I have been wanting to do all of my life. Just sit out here and just relax and be able to sit under the stars in this, this type of a space that I've dreamed of all of my life. Because really, our lives are a dream come true. And I bring these clamshells out and I was truly feeling the languages of the light of Venus, of this beautiful goddess, this beautiful feminine energy, this idea of fertility of birthing this new earth together in this divine energy of this pure light of pure balance of the divine feminine and masculine and I've been reminded so much recently that my four mothers my grandmothers and great grandmothers and aunts and everything that I didn't understand before is coming is coming into my remembering if you will it's it's all beginning to make more sense and so, as I need some water here, I'm going to just uh, take a quick water water pause. <sighs> Divine water. Take a moment now to bless the waters. To bless our celestial guides, to, to send gratitude for these connections that we have been brought up to wonder about, that we have been trying to understand our connection to, and how are these stories, how do they represent us in our lives, and what are they telling about telling us about us? So, as I was feeling this light language blessing from Lady Goddess Venus coming through, our dear Aphrodite, I just wanted to take a moment to 
share this divine space with you. Breathe in the night and breathe in the starlight, the moonlight, the candlelight. And feel the guides as you look up into the sky. Remember that these are all stories of all of us, all of you, who we are. And to remind ourselves once again that we are far, far more than we ever, ever thought ourselves to be. Send gratitude to yourselves as I send gratitude to myself for exploring these ideas that bring me joy because each and every one, everything that I've explored has brought me closer to learning more about who I am simply by exploring our celestial friends. our co-creators in this universe, this galaxy that we are so intricately woven a part of. And yet, not just a part of, but we helped create. Each of us each of us is exploring a theme based upon a frequency of a particular planet, a particular, of, well, of all the planets, but where are they? Where are the positions of them at the moment we were born? Why did we choose that? How does that relate to who I am and my path and, and the date I was born and numbers and how does all of this connect? That's what I thank myself for, for wondering, because it has brought me such delight to explore it all. And each one of them sings to us, has a frequency, a song, and sings to me. Each and every planet and system that I look at, that I gaze upon, I feel, we feel their love, their energy, their tie to us, this coexistence, and how it all affects and relates everything that we are, and how it is that we are a part of all of this divine design. And it's not happening to us, but by us and for us, because so we can explore us. <laughs> and I've always loved writing poetry and song lyrics, and I've loved writing. And so for me, it was a way to um, explore my world in metaphors without letting the world really know what I was really thinking because I was so afraid of what they would think. And now we're here to explore our God and goddesses selves and to congratulate ourselves for wanting to know more. I read a book, um, oh gosh, called Something More. And oh, what is the author's name? I'll, I'll look it up. <laughs> if any of you have read it. Um, many, many years ago, and I have to say my aunt, so I'm thinking of her right now. Hi, Auntie. I'll call her Auntie Rachel. That was our, our nickname for her. And 
She gave me that book to remind me, to show me, even then, it was okay to want something more, to explore something more. And there's so much more I can explain to you about that particular relationship and, and how religious she was and how I wasn't and our differences and yet how in the end it was all the same love. And now as she has transitioned um, several years ago and her birthday has just passed in July, I and every time we see a butterfly, we think about her. So it's those connections, those rememberings and and, and now she, now we know, I know, she speaks to me and tells me, reminds me. She said, now I get it. You know, I understand completely now where you're coming from because of where I am coming from now, from her higher perspective. And so what used to upset me about that, I, now I'm grateful that we, we had that, that we had that time that, and I have that, that memory, even though that now is everything is now I'm having that memory. Now, everything is right now. And there's always going to be something more because we never, ever stop this journey. This is only just a little tiny reality, a little tiny sliver of this entire journey that we're on. And we're being more now reminded of our inner magic that we have this ability to connect to any of them at any time we wish to hear and remember their guidance at right now. And to, because they have moved beyond the, the plane of physical need for explanation and justice. It's all about unconditional love. And this is where we are moving to. This is what these engagements are for. For all of us to move into our heart space. That Lady Venus, love, romance. It is time to romance yourself. This is what I came to do tonight. I came outside to romance myself, to just engage all alone, all alone in the moonlight, in the, the starlight, in the candlelight. We came to learn to love ourselves again. So feel this love from Lady Venus. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been, <clears throat> been having a busy day, dusty, and unpacking things. And so, <clears throat> forgive my dusty throat. <laughs> mm, I've got lemon water, yum. And every time I drink it, and especially lemon water and lemon lime, I, I feel like I'm drinking sunshine because I am drinking sunshine because these, they, these lemons and limes, they grew in the sun. This water is earth, yet it's, it's, it's transformational. It's ice, it's liquid, it's vapor. And this water came from the earth, from my well, so it's, it's all of that, and we are all of that, and we are all of that. It is time to explore and adore yourself. It is time to make love to yourself. Find out what it is that brings you true pleasure and passion. It is time to just let yourselves out of the box, Poke yourself out of your turtle, come out of your turtle shell, come out of your clam shell, rise out. Pearls, you guys, pearls. My truck, my truck is named Pearl. <laughs> pearls form, they form in clam shells. 
We are pearls of wisdom. We have access to all the pearls of wisdom. You are a divine pearl of wisdom. And look at how long it takes a pearl to become a precious, precious, complete, luminescent. timeless piece of creation that grew from a piece of sand, a grain of sand. And you, you are so many grains of sand. And you are becoming more crystalline moment by moment by moment. The higher you raise your frequency, the more crystalline you become, the more luminescent you become, the more pearl you become, and the layers keep growing and growing and growing of your luminescence and your wisdom. Your wisdom keeps growing layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. Feel this, this message from Lady Venus, Lady Goddess Venus, and all of our celestial stars here. All of our friends and family out there because there is no out there because everything is right here right now with all of us everywhere and every when is right now I got my cup sorry <laughs> okay okay everybody take a nice Oh, get comfy breath. This is where you find peace. When you love who you are and what you are and what you have chosen. And you cannot change what you do not love. For it is in the embrace, the complete embrace of love that you transform anything. Send gratitude to what you have chosen. To every part of your body that you have chosen. However, you have chosen to express yourself in this now. Love it and embrace it. For it has served you divinely. For we are all stories. We are gods and goddesses telling stories of who we are. the perils, the drama, and the beauty, and the victories for Venus, the goddess of victory.
You are not victims. You are victorious. If you are here in this way, in this now, you are victorious. This is what you have come to remember. You are not a victim at all. We have come here because we are wondrous, magical beings who came here to explore. not endure. Yellow Korea Pablo Amoko Saliana Kalakoa Liti Shanase Lakala. The same colonel Porisano, Shalora Maiwa Kelani, La Halo Kono, Mashakela, Layana Nakase, Salisanate, Tai Kiasha. We have come. to know ourselves again, to love ourselves again, in complete passion, in all that we are, in how that we are, in who that we are. We are a rainbow. We are every planet. Maliamo kwe sa posha ne liyama li la kila kwa mana sa chosho mayana liyana na akari ya posho noche sa miya sano kiyambari ashna creators of worlds and galaxies and star systems we give birth to stars na boliyama kwa la kaniyana ta posha na liyama lo akana. We are Yasana Liamba Koi Kanoama Alake Marwakashino. Listen at it. Shumayasanuki Aluna Alumore Sheiki Salakanyasha. See ya ya so na so ya li. Apparently, I have a visitor. Sia Kalia Satanshia, Ala Kalaya Marshal. The Sinekoya Lundia Sananiana Kalia. We are all seeking our light, the light. The prism of all that we are. You have come here, come here to shine and beam your true colors. You are a prism. <laughs> <laughs>